Often when most people think of the word chimera, they imagine a creature from Greek mythology that's part snake, part lion, and part goat. While this isn't exactly far from what chimera research is, it isn't nearly as mythical. Really what chimera research is is stem cell research, which aims to help solve issues faced with organ transplants, regenerative medicine, and even improve modeling for disease. This research began when scientists tried to better understand mammalian biology and disease with mice. Soon, however, they realized that chimera, chimera research could be used to help fill the deficit faced on the transplant list. Without 113,000 men, women, and children on the national transplant list, 20 die every day because only 58% of the population is signed up to become a donor, and only 3 in 1,000 people die in such a way that allows for transplants. Thus, they thought they could generate human organs in pigs. To do this, they inject HIPS, or a human stem cell, into a pig blastocyst, which is an embryo that's left to develop from five to six days. By doing this, they hope that these neurons will begin to form a human organ. However, early signs showed that these cells were becoming too spread out to really be able to form this single human organ. Thus, scientists are now proposing using CRISPR, which is a technology that utilizes mechanisms learned from bacteria to accurately slice and replace DNA. Scientists want to be able to take out the DNA that originally formed the pig organ and replace it with the human DNA, hoping that it will be able to generate that human organ. By doing this, they'll be able to generate more organs and thus give them out to people that desperately need them to survive. However, chimera research is not without controversy. There are many ethical concerns about the maltreatment of animals, as well as stem cells getting into the brain of pigs and blurring the line between human and animal. One such study that corroborates these concerns is when scientists put glial cells, or cells that help support neurons in the human brain, into mice. By doing this, these mice were able to solve mazes two times faster, as well as having better memory. Another concern is what these cells may do to the pigs. One study showed that these human stem cells inhibited the growth of pigs, thus leading to further concerns of what other changes might occur when we do this. So, while there are still many debates going on in the fields and many ethical concerns, it's a really interesting and great field that has great potential to help save human lives.